Lukacs makes it really easy to inherit reactions between beams on the fly. So instead of needing to copy and paste them between beams where you've got a situation with one bearing onto the other, you can dynamically link. So we can see here we've got a timber roof beam uh, with dead load reactions of 3.08 and live load of 3.6 kilonewtons. And what we're going to do is we're going to click into uh, the timber beam that's below it on the level below that it's bearing onto. All we have to do is come down to our point loads. We click the link to reaction icon. We can select 2B2, which is the beam we were just on in the list. Choose the reaction that we want. In this case, it's support one. And what we can see is that the dead load and the live load are automatically inherited. And what we'll do is we'll just put that 500 mils in. You can see here now that we're dynamically bringing across 2B2 and we can see that link here. If we are to come back to 2B2, and let's say increase the load, for example. So I'm going to take that to a dead load of 10. We can see the dead load and the live load reactions have now gotten larger. We come back into 1B1. We can see that this is also increased coincidentally.